I'm Terry, and I'm Kate, and today we're going to take you through a powerful yoga flow with a little bit of fitness thrown in. So let's have fun, let's get down on our mats in child's pose. Deepen your breath right away, let the day go. Arrive here, mentally and physically. Carve out this time for yourself. The rest of the day will be there in a few minutes. Tabletop. Just a couple of cats and cows. Just to wake up your spine or get the kinks out of your day, whatever time of day it is for you. And downward facing dog. Really press your mat forward with your hands. Get a nice bend in your knees. And then send your hips high. Thighs toward the back of the room. Drop your head. Hands to the back of your mat. and ragdoll. Rise up. Bow. Let's do that again. Half lift. Fold. Rise up. Bow. Okay, this is going to be a, just a gentle one. Hands to your mat, left hand to the sky, standing split. So not a, not a full out, just, a, just feel your way into it. It might not, it'll probably be about half what it usually is. Press into your right foot, lift your left leg. Now look back at your toes and send all of them toward the mat. Lift your leg another inch or so. Drop your head. Lift your leg and release. Other side, just like that. So we'll call it a halfway standing split. Square your toes, roll your hips square to the mat, press down to your left foot, lift your right foot, drop your head, and release your right foot to the mat. Walk out to a high plank. Low plank. High plank. Downward facing dog. Another one like that. High plank. Low plank. High plank. Downward facing dog. High plank, low plank, up dog. Stay here and breathe. Really press into your hands. Send your shoulders down and back, shoulder blades together. Lift your knees, press into your toes, and downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Step or fly to the top of your mat, half lift, fold, Utkatasana. Squeeze your thighs together, graze your hands against your mat, keeping your arms low, Utkatasana. Reach high, sit lower, the weights in your heels. Your weight is in your heels. <laughs> Keep your weight there. Keep your left foot pressing down. Lift your right knee in towards your chest. Hold it here. And then swing it back to a curtsy lunge position. So you're just dropping it out to the left side of the mat. Just, just dropping. Squaring your hips forward. You can either keep your arms up or take your hands to meet at heart center. And you're just 
going to move into a curtsy lunge here. Going down and up, down and up. Continue to keep your gaze straight ahead of you. Really press your weight through your front foot. Drive back through your right heel. Stay with it here. We're going for another three, two, one. Land low. Pulse. Little tiny pulses for so five, four. Go ahead. You're not holding your breath to here either. Your mouth's open and you're breathing naturally, but you're not holding your breath during these more challenging movements. All right, swing it back through, sit low, Utkatasana. Drive your left knee in towards your chest and swing it back to the right side of the mat, past the right side of the mat. Okay. Square forward through your hips and find your curtsy lunge. Go deep, come up high. You're just creating that bounce movement here. Go ahead, continue to set the gaze. Doesn't feel like a bounce. <laughs> what does it feel like? Like right here? <laughs> well, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a bounce. <laughs> We're going for another. Does it feel like three. a bounce to you? Two, <laughs> one, stay low, pulse it up. Good. So last time we were going to do five and we got talking, so I guess we'll do a few more here. Four, three, two, one, stay with it, sit low. Whoa. Okay. Now we're right. And fold. Mm -hmm. Halfway lift. High plank. Right hand down, side plank. Maybe you come into a wild thing. <laughs> That's what this is, if it doesn't work. Oh. And actually, I like wild thing. You can do it intentionally. And on the other side. I think I will. Even it out. Oh. Press down. Lift up and away from your pressing down. High plank. Down dog. PT out at the back of your mat. Well, not at the back. Walk them in a little bit. Right leg lifts. Then stack, open your hips. Now bring your chest toward your left thigh to square your hands, square your arms, square your body. There we go, do it the other way. And this time your chest is gonna press toward your right leg. So a lot of pressing equally, like press, real big press into your left hand and your right hand. Okay, Kate, I think you caught our breath. Inhale, lift your right leg back up. Exhale, knee in towards your chest. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee in. Inhale, back. Exhale, drive it in. Hold it here so you're stacking your shoulders over your wrists. Top of your head is reaching forward, really hiking your knee in towards your chest, getting that core strength. And set your foot through, coming into crescent lunge. You're gonna reach your arms up high. Set your gaze ahead of you. Two options here. You're either hiking your knee straight in and stepping it back. So left leg is coming in. So I'll be doing that. Left leg is stepping back. Or the second option, you're gonna keep that same movement, but you're gonna find just a little bit of a hop as you come through center. So your right foot is actually gonna launch off the mat, and then you're gonna step the left leg back. You can create that train track through the legs if it's hard to find balance here. Feet don't have to be straight together. They're both going straight ahead, but you can take them just a little bit wider. We're going for another three, two, one, and then you're gonna hold it down. Hands come to heart center, and you're pulsing it out. Go deep into your pulse. Really find that deep bend through the front knee here. So right thigh is parallel with the earth, upper body is long, we're going for three, two, one, hold it, arms reach up, slight back bend, and flow, hands to your mat. All the breath out, lowering, inhale, open up, and exhale, step back, downward facing dog. 
Take a deep breath in, side out. Inhale, lift your left leg up, knee in towards your chest. Inhale, back, exhale, knee in, and back, knee in, and back, knee in, hold it here. Press the earth away through your hands, drive back through your right heel, hike your knee just a little bit higher, and step it through, crescent lunge. Really create a strong foundation through your feet. Shoulders drop down and back. Hiking your right knee in and step it back. Good, gaze straight ahead. <laughs> this one gets me on the You got it, it's tough. <laughs> and you know what, don't worry about your arms about okay. halfway through. My arms usually start doing something different. I don't have that crunching movement anymore. They're actually moving with my leg. <laughs> So the coordination, uh, not it's the most important thing here. Not that exactly. helps. That helps. You can take the hop yeah. if you want to take it. Yeah, no matter what, you're just keeping the movement going. You're taking your back knee and you're driving it in towards your chest. You're really getting a full body movement here because you're getting the lunge, but you're also getting the core strength. Yeah, you can keep your hands together at heart center if that feels better. And so how many more are we going for? <laughs> We're going for three, <laughs> two, a hundred. <laughs> One step back, hold it. Go down through the front knee, hands to heart center, and pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Breathe into it for another three, two, one, and arms up, back bend, and flow. Ooh. Right leg to the sky, warrior one, warrior two, reverse, straighten through your front leg, we're going to do those things you do Katie. Oh okay, yeah you bend through the front knee and then straighten and reach up through the arms, so you're coming into warrior two and then inhaling up through center as you straighten the front leg. Keep the upper body long. Arms are moving with the legs. So as you exhale, arms are straightening out. For five. As you inhale, arms are coming up. Four. Last three. Three. Two. One. one. Stay in it. Inhale, reverse, up and back. Exhale, hands to mat, high plank. Hold it in high plank, and we're moving into shoulder taps. Opposite hand reaches opposite shoulder. Light tap here. Neck is long, gaze stays at one spot. Keep pressing back through the heels, creating length through your entire body. We're going for four, three, two, one. Hold it, and downward facing dog. Left leg to the sky, warrior one, warrior two, straighten through your front leg, go ahead, arms reach and sink, arms up, sit low. So each time you come up, you're straightening through the front leg, arms are coming high and meeting overhead, and then each time you go low, you're creating that deep lunge. 90 degree angle through your front thigh. Gaze at one spot, wherever it feels best on your neck here. Stay with it. For three, last two, last one. Come up, land low. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to the mat, shoulder taps. Second, final round here. We get a bone down. <laughs> Good, press down through your opposite hand. Keep drawing your belly button in and up towards the spine. You're almost done with these, stay with it, you can do it. We're going for five, four, last three, two, and one. Good work. Now we're facing dog. Allow the weight of your head to drop heavy. 
left foot firmly into your mat, creating just a tiny bit of softness through your left knee so you're not locking out. And we're going for five, four, breathe into it for three, last two, one. It's okay if your left leg was shaking. <laughs> Lower your right foot down. Left leg in the sky. And pulse it up. Lifting your heel up towards the ceiling. Keeping your toes flexed back towards you, same as we did in the beginning. And just finding that consistent pulse here. Notice if your right toes are gripping into the mat at all. Relax your toes. Press through the four corners of your feet. Shoulders, neck, and head are relaxed. Continue to find your pulse. We're going for four, three, core strong for two, one. Okay, left leg down. Now, rise up. Fold. Halfway lift. High plank. Take your hands wide. Because we're part of a push-up challenge now. One of our viewers. Lisa. Lisa. Okay, seven push-ups. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down dog. Okay, so you can find her at Eat to Succeed on Instagram, fabulous nutritionist, just happens to be my niece, uh-huh, Kate's cousin, so you can do seven of those every day this week. Is it seven every day or ten every day? We did seven. <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> okay, come on to your back. The hard part is over. Okay, bridge. It's over, Kate. The hard part? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wanted her to know that too. <laughs> oh, we still have abs. I was going to say, I guess abs today are just um, everything the is fun doing. stuff. <laughs> Come down. <laughs> Wheel of bridge. All right. We'll get them in. I always think wheel is a really easy pose, too. <laughs> Especially if you laugh or. <laughs> Come down. Sukta Baddha Konasana. Happy baby. If it feels good here, you can kind of rock from side to side, straighten one leg, straighten the other. Take any version that feels really nice in your body. Like lights off the wall. Feels good. Right here. Mm-hmm. And since your legs are up there, bring your hands in sort of truth, Charlie's Angels. Lower your left leg as low as you can. Flex toes to your face. Bring your hands to the outside of your right leg and pulse. Or bounce if you like to call it that. <laughs> Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Together and to the other side. Right leg down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both legs up. Reach for your toes. Neck nice and long for three, four, five. Breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, hug your knees into your chest, nice and long. Loop your legs, loop your legs in your arms. Because we're going to close this out, okay? All right, we're going to close it out by bringing your knees over your hips, taking your hands to meet behind your head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're only into some bicycles. Right elbow, left knee. We're not going to close it out. Right knee, we're almost going to pedal. Good. Keep your chest open. Keep some space between your chin and your chest. Belly button drawn towards your spine for 10, 9, 
eight, keep your breath moving, seven, six, five, four, pedal hard for three, two, one, release. Okay. Amazing for your chest. Yeah. And then, huh, lengthen out long. Lift your right leg to the sky. Bring your hands behind your shin, behind your calf, behind your thigh. I'll put your foot wherever it works for you. And then take your left arm out to the side, palms down. Take your right leg open. Just let it fall open with gravity. There's a slight bend in your knee. I'm actually reaching behind my knee to keep that little bend. Switch arms and bring your left hand to your, you know what to do, bring your leg across your body. <laughs> Supine twist. Supine twist. I love this one. I do too. So that was fun. I thought that was fun. It was challenging for me. Switch sides, right leg up long. Left knee hugs in. But what I like about this particular workout is that you get your yoga in and you get your fitness in and it really doesn't take a lot of your day. Leg is out to the left side, opening up through your left hip. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to call the pose, right? Somebody had to call the pose and you're, sw you're twisting to the right, right keeping hand. your left shoulder down. Right hand can support that top thigh, your top thigh. Your top thigh. Okay. If you have time to stay here, go ahead and relax for a few moments, a few minutes, whatever you have. And if you need to get moving about your day, draw your knees in, roll to the right side, press to a seated position. Keeping your eyes closed, take just a moment here to acknowledge yourself, what you just created within your body, being mm -hmm. proud of yourself. And bring your hands together to meet at heart center. Take a full breath in, fill up, and empty, exhale out. Hands meeting at forehead center. The light in us shines the light in each of you. Thanks for joining us. Namaste.